hello to everybody who is watching it's another day a great day pride is in the air and the festivities do continue we at Rhodes University 2018 graduation ceremony and I am your hostess Zimkita Kweza let's just go and find out how the graduates are feeling and of course what they're wearing that's important come let's go tell me um, go and what was your inspiration? Uh, my inspiration is that black women, <laughs> we are doing it in a society and that um, Oh wow, well done and alright. I'm doing graduating from Become Accounting. Oh yes, and looking at your outfit, what was the inspiration and who you dressed by? Um, inspiration is, I don't know, my culture, African, um, dressed by my mom, <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure it wasn't easy um, coming to this point and ending this journey off. So what's the one thing that has kept you motivated? Graduating the monuments and the life after, like getting to do what I love, which is accounting, yeah. Thank you so much. You look stunning. My name is Ursula and I just graduated with my honors in financial management. I'm Tendai, or Denai Mashoko, and I just graduated uh, BSc Geology. Wow. Honours, oh. honours, please. Yes. Okay, can we just go through your outfits, um, who you dress by, and what was the inspiration? Um, I actually got this dress from my mom. I did not know where she bought it. I just saw it at home, so I have nothing much to say. But my hair is from Exclusive Virgin Hair SA. They are the best. They know how to do it right. And my nails are from Zim, because I'm from Zim. <laughs> Hi. Um, my hair, Exclusive Virgin Hair. My makeup, Mandisa. My dress, styled by me. Uh, my shoes are from Woolies style by me again and yeah nails from Zim and that's me <laughs> just a last question from me I'm sure you guys it hasn't been easy to get to this point and what has been the motivation that one thing that inspired you Grahamstown is a small town and I really wanted to get out so I was like I need to do this and go home <laughs> yeah um, for me it was my family I knew how much my family was rooting for me and it meant a lot to me and meant a lot to my siblings my mom and even my mom's a single mom so doing this this specific one was for her so seeing her happy and seeing her proud was so important okay so my name is Zama Katamzi Joseph I am working as a researcher at the South African National Space Agency and I was here because we had four PhD student graduates today and how does that make you feel seeing your students graduate it is with a, an enormous sense of uh, pride I am very proud of the hard work that they have put into it and that they have achieved the, the goals that they have set themselves up for and um, yeah so it's basically we're very proud um, it was a very inspirational also um, speech that the guest speaker gave and that was basically a revival of you know why we go into the field of science yeah, yeah. and talking about the field of science what is that one thing that inspires you to carry carry on in this field. I know it could be a difficult one. Yeah, you know, a lot of things or different things will inspire you at different parts in your life. And basically it's a, a, a always searching for an answer. You know, you never arrive at a full answer. You always arrive when you think you've arrived, but you actually have more questions. And so it's always, a, you know, um, you're always on a quest. And that's a really exciting thing. Thank you so much. You look stunning and you inspire us. Dungo asa ke kunzula ni sizo biye zelo mnyata lugu basi tosa bani zitang. Um, igwanzo uuzi venja ni lendo kubona banya bantu betuali zitang. Eli pongo ne kaya ne mingi lega kuhul na mdi ngadi ngabe ngadi ngabu ngomu mnyawa. So as minya kaya ambayan kutaz ni njoba man seven zinzima isfunzi zamugu zinam bega ndi atoso ngadi nyilang. And Mastrong and the outfit yako, who you dress by, and the inspiration yako, you know, any basically. Tlagufi wa glemi nyata lelo shobo. Inga sindi buoni sabandu bukto sabam, dizi ingang ngubum na bam, nang inkubego ya kuchi ya maklosin. So, in the band band ngubol shobo is just to express myself freely and, yeah, the stand is close. So, I must stress the culture, yeah. I can answer gindotem kosa. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Um, so let's talk about your outfit. What was your inspiration? Oh, okay. This this is a Nigerian outfit. Um, it's a lace, and the headgear is called a gele. Um, it's Yoruba, um, and it's African. As you see, my daughter here too is wearing something African. So we decided we should go all out African. Please come, please come. come. <laughs> thank you so much, right. and I hope you had a great time in there. All right, thank you. All right, Mami. My name is Ayeni Ayowodio Laulu. I'm from Nigeria. I arrived in 2014 to study for my PhD and I just graduated today. It's so beautiful. How are you feeling? Just explain to me one word that just encompasses everything. Yeah, well, I feel so great inside, you know, to have accomplished something over the years. It's so beautiful. It's uncomparable. At least I'm returning back to my country with something big. Yeah. And what was the one thing? I'm sure it wasn't easy. Sorry, interview. Paul. Oh. I'm sure it wasn't easy getting to this point and what was that one motivation? Yeah, well, um, the motivation is to what actually motivates me is to try and be the best. Um, I've been an academician in my country. So getting a, a foreign degree, I wanted it so much and wrote of me that opportunity. And I was going to do everything to just make sure that I get that. And finally, I've gotten it. It's going to go a long way. Um, in boosting my career when I return back to Nigeria, my country. Yeah. Certainly well done. We are very proud of you and I'm sure your family is very proud of you. Thank you so much. I'm Kamalami Ngumendi Wagashengwa. Um, I'm here because I'm an academic staff developer. I work here at Rhodes and one of my really good friends is graduating. And and my mentees are graduating, so it's a real celebration. It's a real, real celebration for me. And in the commerce, it's commerce this one, yeah. I'm going to the commerce one, yeah. And how does that make you feel, seeing people actually achieve things in front of you? You know, when you know people's personal stories, and so I mentioned my, my really good friend, and Numbasa, they're both graduating, as well as my mentees, and you know what they start, where they started, and their journey and commitment to the academic project, and just deciding never say die, never saying die, because they know what they want. And um, some of the other things that I think about is that how many people who want this, but don't necessarily have people who help them out. Because you arrive, it's not because you're not smart, it's not because you don't know what you're doing, but sometimes you just don't understand what it is that they want, or there's certain words that you don't understand, and if you just had people who would help you almost decode what the, what the lecturer wants, what the essay is asking you for, meanwhile you've actually got all the smarts to just help somebody to decode it for you. And what's the best advice that you've given? best advice I've ever given with, particularly if I think about first years, is um, read. You've actually got to read and write. No matter how tough it is and how difficult the thing is, the only way you're going to understand something is you have to read and you have to write, right? So that's just your basic level. And there's a difference between working hard and working smart. And my third one is there's a difference between taking notes and making notes. You take notes in a lecture, you make notes when you get home. It's not the same thing. Making notes helps you understand what it is that you understand and what you don't understand. Thank you so much and I've certainly learned a lot from this two seconds. Thank you so much. Thank you. My name is Maria Muramu. I'm here for Murendi Muramu's graduate. My name my my name is Shumani Nengobera, I come from Venda, then I here for the graduation of my nephew, which is Murendeni Muramu. She, uh, Murendeni Muramu, she was graduating for her first degree, a BSc in Economics and Geology. We are coming from Venda, Toyando. Welcome to the Eastern Cape, we're so glad to have you. Uh, how do you feel today? How does her graduating make you feel? I'm feeling good. And well, I'm happy, that's why I speak to you now, yeah. Oh, for me it is a pleasure and I feel happy, yes, because it is her first graduation. You know, the, the second graduation is it was important rather than the first one. I think the first one is the foundation, that's why I'm so happy today. Hey. 
I uh, came by bus just to attend my friend's graduation. We were doing degree together in Mauritius. So now she just got her PhD in astronomy and uh, Sunday she's flying to uh, to US. All that to say that I highly uh, recommend and promote that women should study as much as they can. Even if they can't get PhD but they should do whatever they want. It's very important and we just heard that women are breaking the record as 63 percent here. This is amazing and I highly encourage you people. I see you enjoying doing this. So students, whatever you love, you should keep doing. I highly encourage, I have a show every first day. I talk on radio in Johannesburg. So I highly encourage women to study science, whether you go to school or not, whether you are old, whatever your age, it's not about getting a degree. Science is the future and women should be empowered with science. Thank you very much. Thank you. And my name was Asmat Ali Gulamason from uh, UKZ and PhD student Durban. Hi guys, my name is Sison Bangla. I did a Bachelor of Science degree and I just graduated. She's looking absolutely fabulous. Please tell us what was the motivation and who you dressed by? Well, Nigum Kosa, basically. So I decided to pay homage to my culture by bringing it also into like the modern traditions of world society. And um, dressed by me, top legit. This was specially sewn for today and shoes from Sissy Boy. Yeah. And I'm sure there were so many obstacles for you to get to this point. And what has been a motivation and inspiration for you? Well, my parents, firstly and foremost, they pushed me to finish my degree. You know, when you're down, you should speak to them and they, they encourage you to finish. They tell you, as a black child, you have to forge forward and, and pave the way for yourself in society. So that's what I did. And last thing from me, um, what's the best advice you've been given that has like basically sustained you? Yo, ask questions and seek help. You think, you, you think you're okay, you don't. If you know you're not okay, go tell someone, seek help, ask questions and you'll be great. Thank you so much. Looking great. Sure, Erin uh, Lenz and I did a Bachelor of Science. Uh, Rhodes was my best mistake. That's, that's how I ended up here. <laughs> okay, well, just tell us, um, you're looking great by the way. What was your inspiration and who you dressed by? Well, I was going to come in a beach dress and slops, and then my mother chose my dress. So that's it. I was going to come in slops. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't easy getting to this point. And what has been the one thing that motivated you to get to this point? Yo, is this going to be edited? <laughs> <laughs> I won the first one in my family to get a degree, so hopefully that paves the stones, sets the stones for the future of the family. Yeah. And the best advice you've been given? Do it all while you're young and stupid. <laughs> I'm Sivu Sutungu, yeah. and I majored in botany, so yeah. I did botany. I did undergrad botany and environmental sciences. Yeah. And from then, I actually had a love for plants for a very long time. So yeah. then, from doing environmental science and botany, and um, looking at my tutors and stuff, I got interested in research. Yeah. And then I did research, and then from research, I got interested in academia. So then I thought, why not PhD? Why not? Why not I'm <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can we just please see your outfit, just a bit, and tell me, um, why are you making us see your outfit, what was the inspiration, and basically, who you dressed by? No one, I, this is from YDE, but then like, I just wanted something comfortable, and hence I went with this, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't easy getting to this point in your journey, and what has been the one thing that has kept you going? I think it's passion, like, if you love what you do, then you keep on going like if you know if you have a goal in mind the only way to get there is to keep on persevering so there's no other way thank you so much and well done inspiration for days I'm here to support my friends like they're such an inspiration I'm so proud of them yes yeah, yeah. so how are you feeling today ah oh, I'm feeling so inspired and motivated because yeah. like I'm the next one next year yes oh like it's absolutely beautiful it's yeah. absolutely beautiful and we're all about fashion we're also covering fashion so just give us a 360 and basically what was the inspiration and who you dressed by oh well I'm dressed by me myself and I <laughs> I legit no legit seriously <laughs> I bought the uh, material and I got my sister to make the pants for me and obviously from a shop <laughs> and I bought the shoes at this other thrift store and um, I was inspired by I wanted to feel at home comfortable always comfortable is always my point and also I wanted to feel like 
going back to the roots, you know, like, you know, let's keep it cultural rooted, you know, yeah. Well, thank you so much. I'll let the camera lady give you your limelight. For me, sir. Last year, Ben Senza e biochemistry and microbiology, and this year, Ben Senza e honors in biotechnology. Yeah. Just looking at the outfit here, Kopudwam, what was the inspiration and who you dressed by? Oh, uh, I'm just so I just went to a shop and then bought this. Yeah. I'm sure Ben Eko look figure uh good well na buku long walk and look figure up a monument. So, what is that one thing that has kept you going and a motivator? No, family, my family, I've been running for a long time, I've been running for a long time, they'll motivate me, I've been running for a long time, yeah, so young, I've been running for a long time. And the best advice that you've been given? Yes, I've been running for a long time. By anyone? Ah, I've been running for a long time, like, they discourage you, like, yeah, we're supposed to get a long time, so yeah, we're basic, so yeah. I get each other in the suba oya ban base roads. We just gonna give him just ilam lights. Yo enke. Thank you so much, Bram. Thank you. My name is Angela Classy, but they call me the Queen. My degree is a BSc in um, environmental science and geology. Let's talk about your outfit because you're looking great. Um, what was the inspiration and who you dressed by? Um, my inspiration was the fact that most of the time people expect girls to wear dresses so I was like nah, I don't want to dress, I want a suit. And I'm dressed by some lady, Shem, yes, from the location. I was like girl, hook me up and she's like, I got you, I got you, yeah. I'm sure there were so many obstacles that before you got to this point, tell me what was the one motivation and what motivated you? Honestly, my friends, my friends motivated like I'm even gonna cry. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, my friends motivated me like, like I was going through the malls, but they got me, and we are today. Like we literally, I'm sharing a stage today. Um, together, like one of them was doing um honors in geology, and yeah, my friends, and of course my family. Well, thank you so much. You've done a great job, and well done. Thank you.